Welcome, welcome to another session of Everyday Mathematics. Here at Everyday Mathematics, as we always say, we do enjoy solving the harder problems, but above all, we also see and appreciate the beauty in the simpler problems. So today's problem comes from the MIT 2024 integration B finals, and the problem will be problem number four, which is uh, the definite integral from x equals to negative a third to x equals to one of the cube root of one plus the square root of one minus s cube plus the cube root of one minus uh, the square root of um, the square root of uh, one minus uh, x cube. Um, so this is a very interesting problem. Uh, before I jump into the solution, I'd like to thank our subscribers. Uh, it is because of your support that we are here time and again to share with you uh, our uh, solutions. Uh, but also for our first time visitors, we'd like to encourage you to consider subscribing to our channel. Uh, for what we do here at Everyday Mathematics is we go about, we look for uh, problems that may seem to be hard and then we come back with the solutions that we think we fit to these problems. Uh, for our repeating visitors who haven't gotten the motivation to subscribe to our channel, um, we will keep coming back and we do really encourage you to consider subscribing to our channel. So um, the solution to this problem, uh, looking at the integrand, it has these two uh, cube root components. And one thing I would do is just equate the integrand to y, such that when you uh, take the cube of y uh, using binomial expansion, uh, we'll have the cube of the first plus uh, three times, uh, the first times the square of the, the second term, plus three uh, is equals three times the square of the first times uh, the third, and then uh, the cube, this is not uh, square, the cube of uh, the second term. And this is, this is just binomial coefficient. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with Pascal triangle, you could use that to obtain these um, binomial coefficients. Um, so what this results to is the the three, the power three here negates the cube root sign on the first and the last uh, term here, um, such that uh, when you look at this, um, this term here is equivalent to this term, but the signs are opposite, so this and that would cancel out. And then here, uh, we can now pull out three and also the product of the first and the second term here. So that what you're left with is the sum of the first and the second term, which means that this component is just y. So we have two plus three uh, times the first and the second term times y. Now, as you can see, we can combine this cube root sign. And so you have the product of the sum and the difference, which means that this is same as the square of the first and the second minus the, 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 the second term. So now we have two plus three uh, cube root of one minus, because we have multiplied these together, uh, the square of the square root of one minus s cubed. So when you um, uh, take into consideration the square under the cube root sign and also uh, taking into consideration the square root under the square sign, what happens is now we have two plus three times cube root of one minus one plus x cubed, and this one and that cancel out. So we are left with the cube, uh, the, the square, the cube of x, and uh, cube root of uh, the cube of x is just x. So we have um, x, y cube is equal to two plus three x y. Now what that means is that now if we differentiate three y squared dy dx is equals to, um, the two is a constant, so that's a zero, uh, plus uh, differentiate with respect to x, we have 3y plus with respect to y, so we have 3x dy dx. And that means that when we now um, uh, take this component to this opposite side, and then you divide both sides by uh, 3y squared minus 3x, uh, we, uh, we get that dy dx is 3y over 3y squared minus 3x. And then now what that means is that 3y squared minus 3x over 3y dy is the same as dx. So we'd like to express this y, this x in terms of y. Here what happens is you just 3x is the same as y cubed minus 2 over y. Yeah, is equals to um, 3x. So we can substitute 
uh, for this three X with these uh, components. So we get now three Y squared minus uh, Y cubed minus two over Y, all over three Y. And so what that means is that we have three Y cubed minus Y cubed, uh, in bracket Y cubed minus two over three Y squared. And so that means that now we have two Y cubed plus two over three Y squared dy can be substituted uh, for the dx in the integration. Now, uh, since uh, y is equal to the cube root of uh, one plus the square root of one minus x square, uh, cubed plus the cube root of one minus square root of one minus x cubed, uh, and we've also found that y cubed is equal to two plus three x uh, y, so when x is equal to a third, when you insert a negative a third here, we get y cubed is equal to two minus uh, y. And so um, that means when you take everything on the right to the left, that means that y cubed plus y minus two equals to zero. So um, a very quick uh, trivial solution is when y is equals to one, um, when y is equals to one, uh, that equation holds, right? Um, and then the next thing, um, we also know that when x equals to one, uh, we can substitute in one, and what we find out is that uh, y is equals to two. So the lower limit is y is equals to one, and the upper limit, y is equals to two, right? And so our integration now becomes um, the integration from y is equals to one to y is equals to two of y, which comes in place of this complicated expression, times uh, dx, dx now here we found to be two y cubed plus two over three y squared. And we see that um, this y cancels with that, and we're left with uh, the, the two thirds comes out, and so the integral from y equals to one to two of y squared, um, because we pull out the two is two, and then one over y. So uh, eventually now what we have now is two thirds, the integration of uh, from y is equals to one to two of y squared plus one over y. And we know that the integration of y squared is y cubed over three and the integration of one over y is natural logarithm of y. And so substituting in um, the limits that uh, amounts to two over three uh, for uh, the first uh, component, this is uh, two cube over three, which is eight over three, minus one over th uh, one cube over three, which is a third, uh, plus log two minus log one. So this one here, as we know, tends to zero, natural logarithm of one or log of any base of number one is zero. And then we're left with now uh, eight over three minus a third is seven over three, plus log two. And then if you multiply a third across, that becomes 14 over nine, plus two over three log two. And this is the answer uh, of that problem number four. That seemed complicated, but in actual, it is a very, very simple problem. Now, thank you very much for hanging out with us uh, today. I hope you've enjoyed our solution. Uh, until next time, um, we look forward to seeing you. Uh, thank you so much. And please consider subscribing to our channel if you're not subscribed. Thank you.